Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros, kids. We got Caleb Francis on the show and Jack Mandeville. Caleb, when's the last time you took a man in your mouth? Uh, I guess since never. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, though, right? You've, I you've, hope not. Not that I can remember, at least. Yeah, but you're really? from maybe West Virginia, when I was so it's probably happened. It's probably happened. Yeah. I mean, maybe when I was asleep or yeah, passed yeah. out somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. probably happened. But you have the voice for it. Yeah, yeah. People, I, people seem to like it. It's soothing. It's not. It's not <laughs> too uh, rugged. Uh, I'm a big man, but the voice is calming. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm saying yeah. you, you may have taken a man in your probably. Mind. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'm you know, I don't remember. not above it. Yeah. it. Just hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, because uh, you have the the voice. I'm from Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. You have the I'm not gay. I'm just from Atlanta voice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I like it though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because uh, if you stand up, you're a fucking powerful man. Yes. Yeah. 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 But just sitting down, having a nice, warm, warm chat with you, <laughs> it's very... Uh, yeah, it's, I get I, it. I think we could fuck. Uh, probably. That's uh, what my Twitter audience thinks as well. Now, Do look, they really? Oh, yeah. This is bad. this is all, by the way, just been... He's just flying up a test balloon to see if how malleable you are with regard to your sexual yeah. orientation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah because no, he's no. trying to fuck you, is what okay. I'm saying. And with right. bigger I'm, words than that. That's, not, that's what just happened, folks. <laughs> I'm not trying to fuck him, but I want to know yeah. who's available, right? So if a plane goes down, yeah. and you're on it, we're all on the plane together, like, hey, man, am I going to be able to fuck time. you? Or, yeah, what's going to happen uh, here? Yeah, I mean, no, I'm going to jack off. <laughs> really? Jack so if the yeah, plane's going down, you're just jacking off as yeah. hard as you can. One last nut. As quick as I can. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be the fucking name of the movie they yeah. make afterwards. One last nut. One last nut. One last yeah. nut the Caleb like Francis story. This guy yeah. fucking struggling to find <laughs> yeah. like. Anything. How long is this gonna take? Three minutes. I can fucking do can it, man. Do it. Then there's all these flashback sequences of him training to bust nuts fast. <laughs> just. What do you think? Cranking it out. That's right? your yeah. biopic? Yeah. That's one last me. nut, the like, Caleb Francis yeah. story, and it's just the trailer is like, oh. Uh, Denzel Washington's flying the plane, drinking vodka, <laughs> and you're just like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, Jack, what about you? What are you doing? Plane goes down. What are you doing? Last thing. Probably watching Caleb Jack. I mean, what, <laughs> what else could you do? If so, and No matter what your plans were, if he starts doing that, everybody's going to be like, Everybody's going to be like, damn, all right. This guy really is getting after it. But and do then, you join him? Yeah. Like, do you join him or do you watch him? Yeah, I, there's nothing I love more than that post, not clarity. Yeah. So if the plane's going down and, and you're able to bust one out, uh, you're like, ah, this isn't too bad right now. Yeah. Right. You just okay. go right to sleep and just let it happen. Yeah. All right, I'm going to switch it up for you. Let's say you're on the flight with your grandparents mm -hmm. and you guys are going to like a family reunion, but it's, it's your grandmother next to you. Yes. Still go I'm one still last night? Yeah, I'm still oh, yeah. going. No yeah. way. Not even thinking about it. I am. I I'm don't not. do that Well, my grandma. grandmother's dead, so it'd just I'll, be a pile of bones there. So I'll go ahead and I'll put her down that's myself like stop. right then. <laughs> I'll twist it yeah. and then crank. Yeah. <laughs> that's, you know, speaking of that, too, I just realized I bought this shirt when I went to my brother's funeral six years ago, and he's always been looking... Down on, down on me from heaven, watching yeah. me jerk off all the time shirt. and everything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Jack off shirt. Yeah. That's yeah, a nice jack-off shirt. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know how that came about, by the way, in the religious stuff. Like, why would we expect people in heaven to be looking down on us yeah. all the time? That's My brother's been creepy. watching yeah, me jerk like off that. for six years now. Yeah, like you know? if, yeah. if when he was alive, he never knew I was doing it. Yeah. Or when, at least. <laughs> if anybody's been looking down on me, they have seen some horrifying shit. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. stopped. They stopped. They've stopped. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I can't wait. I can't wait till uh, I'm 89 years old. I've, I've created a wonderful family. I got grandkids, and I die, and I get to watch my grandkids jerk yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice feeling. Yeah. yeah. I guess if you're dead, those laws don't apply anymore. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Worst place you've jacked off, Caleb? Uh, I used to work in a, in a state park, and I would jack off in this uh, like abandoned bathroom quite often. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. I, know, I know from the stutter at the end that he's telling the truth, yeah. and it's making him laugh because he's remembering doing oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's could, how you know yeah. it's true. Oh, yeah. What's, the, nice. what's, what's the state park? Are we allowed to say? Is it Yellowstone? Is it something, what, something there's nice? No I don't think the statute of limitations probably already passed on that jacket. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it's like the, my hometown park. Uh, Twin Falls is the name of it. Yeah, jack okay. off a lot there. So if you go find a weird looking bathroom in Twin Scary Falls State bathroom. Park, There's shine a black light. Shine a black light on the walls and you can see evidence of Caleb Francis. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the reason I ask, you, 
have a massive following online. Yeah. This way, if any of your fans really want to feel like they're a part of your life, they can go there and crank one out in that haunted bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like we've shared a moment. Yeah. yeah. And then they can hit don't you work. Up. You can't flush the toilets. Oh, but, oh um, boy, that's not a, great. Yeah, so, so you're not still it's in there. still probably there. Yeah. The coons have probably been in there at it, possums. Wow, well, man. So. Did they just eat cum or what? <laughs> raccoons? <laughs> probably, yeah. Raccoons. Yeah, raccoons. Okay, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Just clarifying, we're in a racially sensitive time right now. Okay, yeah. I don't true. want to throw that off. No, oh, I get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. Totally get I that. didn't know that rodents ate cum. <laughs> they do. <laughs> I wouldn't have cleaned mine up if I had known. I feel like I've robbed the rodent community. Yeah, I, shit, I haven't heard the word, I haven't, coon, the, the, yeah. the abbreviated version of raccoon yeah, for a long yeah. time. Oh, yeah. So you're about that life. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I mean, that's just Virginia. grew up, yeah, coon hunting and stuff like that. That was a normal thing, yeah. 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 West Virginia. Were you in a holler or anything? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No shit. Yep. What was that like? Uh, I mean, for me, it like you know wasn't like crazy holler or anything like that. We dealt with a lot of uh, like shitty people like right down the road, but it wasn't like nonstop in insanity and stuff. Mm. Like where I lived, probably like a half mile radius up and down the street was like all family. So like my my dad's sisters my mom's family like mm. all of them were like kind of moved close and just owned this like own little area so it wasn't crazy but it was just so far from everything man like an hour to like the closest like good grocery store and stuff like that so so so, so people <laughs> fucked in your family uh probably yeah somewhere down the line sure yeah. my favorite part about west virginia history is that in 1863 <laughs> Jesus in Christ. the middle of our nation's worst war ever with ourselves yeah Already at that point, there were 400,000 dead Americans. In the middle of the, uh, America's worst days, West Virginia was like, we want to become our own state, <laughs> right? And they're like, oh, okay, uh, you're going to fight for the North or the South? Neither. Neither. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Uh, but that's the way I feel about that state now. I've been there four or five times. It, it is a state unlike any other state that I've ever been to, and I don't really have an explanation for it. I went to uh, a game at Morgantown, um, where West Virginia University Yeah, is. yeah, I used to go to WVU, yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay, yeah. shit. Yeah. So, everything is all uphill. Yes. The girls have huge calves. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. they dip at the, at the games. Yeah, a lot of them do, yeah. Uh, when I was there, I was a bouncer at a club when I was there. <laughs> And uh, so that was a lot of fun. And <laughs> <laughs> so I got to see a lot of that, like, crazy shit going on. And uh, the, like, I forget the name of the staircase, but there was a staircase in Main Street that, like, 10 stories high. Yes. That, like, oh, I'd be so fucking sweaty when I'd get to class, man. I'd go to class and I'd have to, like, wipe my ass off and, like, my taint and stuff before I went in. Yes. So I didn't want to leave a nasty puddle in my fucking seat. But, uh, yeah, everything was uphill, man. It was the worst. Everything. So I went to that, that 10 staircase thing is real. Yeah, and, yeah. like, when you get, when you go there, everybody's like, oh, hey, do you want to do it? Do you want to do the thing? And I was like. <laughs> what am I, fucking Rocky? No. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was like, I guess. There's an elevator, too. So. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll get I'll, I'll get two giant uh, dudes to carry me like uh, those guys carried Justin Bieber up the Great Wall of China. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not walking up. <laughs> shit. Yeah. I'm not doing shit. That's a, that's a, it's almost like a human rickshaw. Like, that, yeah. that could become a. A lucrative business right there just hiring other men to carry you around seriously that's yeah. like the new sign of wealth like it used to be uh <laughs> obesity back in like, right. two thousand years ago yeah now it's like shiny stuff or whatever the fuck or a young hot uh wife but it could become like i don't go anywhere without With, being carried by a large without man. my guy yeah, yeah. sorry my that's just how boy. it is yeah my i mean boy. <laughs> dave Chappelle did that uh making fun of of uh Puff Daddy, right back in the day. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to go down to Queens and get me breast milk from a Cambodian <laughs> immigrant. <laughs> but by the way, I that was the finest breast milks. <laughs> that was true. Like if you watch that, uh, they did a whole series on it on MTV. Oh yeah, yeah. making the band or yes. whatever the yeah. fuck. Yeah, and it was he used called. to make yeah. all the fucking God, he is people such a cunt, dude. do like the weirdest yeah, like, shit for how him. How is this gonna like, start my music career? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like I don't think he was a dick or anything. They just didn't have a good plan, and they had to figure out weird shit for people, like challenges for people. They're like, you got to do this. It's like, what the fuck? It's like. Easter. Yeah. It's Easter weekend right now. So Jesus dies, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. For because he sent himself on a suicide mission to save us mm -hmm. from himself. Sure, sure, sure. Anyways, three days later, chocolate rabbits. Now I'm missing something, clearly. Peeps. Peeps. Uh, yep. Yeah, you're missing peeps, peeps in there. No, I mean, I'm missing the goddamn connection. <laughs> Man, Jesus the no, it's pretty the universe pretty, and pretty, chocolate bunnies, goddamn. Jesus yeah. was really good for the Easter industry. I'm not oh, going to yeah, lie. Well, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. He was, he's, uh, Christianity's been pretty good at turning uh, pagan holidays into commercial activities. Especially American Christianity. Yeah. 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 It's Big worked out. Because our, our true religion is money. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Well, true. Craziest West Virginia story? Hmm. Uh, I had a lot of really good ones from when I worked at the park. I had to go and search for people trying to kill themselves a lot. Oh wow! No uh, that shit. was a lot of fun. And did yeah. a lot of people <laughs> commit suicide in the hill in the park? I guess. In West I guess that was just a thing. They go and I mean, you know, it's like it's really off to itself. You just go up in the woods, kill yourself. Uh, nobody around. You're kind of secluded. Mm. Uh, I had a lot of uh, four or five times that I had to go and drive around and hike some of the trails and look for people who like were trying to kill themselves there. So that was some fun times. Oh, there was like the Japanese forest in almost in, yeah yeah. Uh, there was a in uh, Welch. I'm sure you guys have probably heard of that. It's like Welch and McDowell County are mm. like that's what most people know of West Virginia, like the worst places. Uh, me and my friends used to go there really late at night, two and three in the morning, and explore abandoned houses. And uh, <laughs> we, we were dumb. It's a really good idea. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, uh, we were going down this back alley, and uh, there was like two dudes just fighting in the middle of the street. We watched him shoot a dude, and then he started walking towards their car, and we had to like just back up and whip around in the middle of the road. Uh, that was a pretty intense night. As the guy like, die? Uh, uh, probably. It, I was only like 12 when we were doing Wow, that. that's like a modern version of Stand By Me right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, I don't scary. think they witnessed the murder, though. Yeah, we <laughs> saw him get shot, and then he was crawling away in the street, and the guy looked at us and started like walking towards us with a gun, so we... And you're a bunch of 12 year olds just driving around in a car. <laughs> well, I was 12, and then like one of my other friends was 12, and I was there with like my older cousin and uh, mm. like some of his older like dude friends. So it's like we were like becoming part of the like cool dude group. Yeah, so yeah. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need mentors when yeah, you're young. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure, yeah. And that was a really good yeah. thing. And to uh, any good, mentor, <laughs> yeah. yeah, any good mentor is going to immediately get you involved in a murder. Right? Yeah, For exactly. Sure. Yeah, that'll really uh, speed up. <laughs> Did you ever yeah. find a dead body in the forest when you were doing? Uh, no, no, I never found any human. What would you have done? Sure. Would you have like RDT'd it or would you have like dropped an elbow? <laughs> like, I feel like I want to make sure it's dead if you're yeah. not armed. Because oh, look, nobody, we've watched too many zombie movies at this mm -hmm. point. That's yeah. a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime I come across a dead body, which is pretty frequently, mm -hmm. let's be real, yeah. uh, I always put, put two rounds in it just to see. Just to make sure. Because you, you don't know. No, you don't. You, you don't. don't know. And yeah. even if it doesn't kill it because it's zombie now. It'll, it'll at least react. And you'll, then you'll that. know. Then I'll know. Yeah. Head, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that's my wife's fantasy in this life. That's her last like bucket, zombie apocalypse. Bucket wish. No, is to find a dead body. Oh, oh shit! That's all she wants to do. All she watches is crime docs. We can do that for her fortieth birthday. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> she'll go. She used to go and run on like trails and shit, like yeah. out in the woods, uh, just looking for a, a leg or a yeah. foot or it's something open. like that. And Fingers crossed. Yes, every time. Every time. Every fucking she just time. needs that dog from Big to go dig yeah. it up out of Homeboy's backyard. Right? Yeah, yeah. But whenever there's a, a story of a you know woman jogger finds dead body on the yeah. news, she gets like, hurt, yeah. dude. Yes, I, why no, wasn't I, I in St. Louis? Yeah, yeah. And that's a reasonable thing, though. I yeah. think. I mean, well, it's not, but it's reasonable given the context that we're provided these days, which is that white women are obsessed with fucking murder and serial killers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, so of they course she wants them. to see that in real life. That's like being obsessed with Jordan and fantasizing about fucking fucking him. How? Yeah. Yeah, playing. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't want to fuck Michael Jordan? I mean, right. yeah. I don't, that's a story to tell, right? I, you know what? That's a good point, though. He is the greatest of all time, so I'd probably yeah. fuck him for the story. Yeah, yeah. But He's, what what other greatest at what would you fuck for the story? <laughs> Pete Weber Jr., the bowler. He's the greatest athlete of all oh, time. Yeah. Whoever you think you are, I am. Yeah, PDW yeah. is my favorite. I love yeah, he just retired. Guy. Didn't he retire he like did. two weeks ago? Yeah, he's, he retired, but his mustache is still on the tour. Yeah. It is, but did you watch the retirement video? Yeah, it it's, was a little awkward. Real Cringe, awkward. I guess, yeah. Yeah, because he look, he looks in the camera and he's like, oh, the sports give That's me so it. much. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe it. And then throws a perfect strike, right? And you're like, oh, fuck. Yes, dude, you're retiring on that, and you're going to get out of there. And then he went back and grabbed another ball for some reason and only hit four pins on the next throw. And you're like, <laughs> God damn it, man. I didn't want to see that part. Yeah. Um, and then he, he did pick up the spare, though. Okay. So he picked up the spare, and then he walked off after that, and I was like, eh. The duality of man. Yeah. That's all it is. He's trying to show you that it's okay to fail at first. If you continue, you will succeed eventually. I, I'm, I'm sure that's probably that's what That's definitely what Pete Weber <laughs> what was wanted. thinking after drinking fucking five old Milwaukee's on the way over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jesus Christ. What are you fucking looking at? 
I'm just soaking Yo, in the show. I'm just happy to be here, guys. No, you're on the show. You got to say yeah. words. Yeah. What the fuck's your story, Jack? God What's going it, on, Jack. dude? What's going on with you today? Oh, uh, well, my brother died six years ago. So. Today? Well, no. Okay. But that's how I got this sweet <laughs> shirt. You know? Yeah. Uh, I've been actively doing stolen valor for over a year now and i'm very proud of that so. whose valor are you stealing yeah uh i'm stealing that of the red horse of the united states air force uh, specifically the uh, 820th based out of nellis air force base and that's your hat yeah that's my hat i got it on when i was on a doing like a uso tour thing yeah. okay one of the little airmen gave me their their hat and i started wearing it around and i really liked the attention that it got me so now i've just been telling everyone. now are you just wearing the hat or are you telling <clears throat> no people? i tell them i was red horse yeah <laughs> okay and i went to the wikipedia page i did research <laughs> like I'm going all in on the stolen is, Do you have an inside man? Is there anybody from Red Horse that's feeding you information? Somebody you that was in Red Horse came to a Friday Night Jack sesh a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and gave me a bunch of Air Force, uh, Red Horse swag. Oh, no, so no he's way. assisting me in my stolen <laughs> yeah. valor. Yeah. yeah. No shit. Has anybody called you on it in the streets of like, hey, man, I was... I was in there. No, because the good part is, it's not like I'm claiming to be like a Navy SEAL or a Green Beret. The, it's completely believable that I was in like this Air Force unit. So right. as long as I can name like the base I was stationed out of, no one questions it. What's the name of the base? Well, it, Nellis Air Force Base, the 820th Squadron okay. of Red Horse, yeah. And what, and what did you, what was your rank? Uh, I was a tech sergeant when I got out, yeah. Did eight years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. what made you get out? Uh, yeah, my family, I wanted to have a family, and uh, you know, I, I didn't want to miss out on, you know, as a, as a Red Horse guy, you deploy a lot, right. uh, so I, I wanted to make sure I could watch my kids How's grow. that old family? Yeah, family. how many kids you got? Uh, I got two. I got two from my first marriage, and then um, I got, uh, seven stepkids now so okay yeah. seven what are their names uh danny johnny billy uh ronnie why are you doing this to me man <laughs> because of matt you damon. gotta have a story brother yeah. you gotta have a story yeah. because place, of matt Jack. damon that's why i did it yeah because he was able to name all 12 brothers oh that's right yeah that's why and you yeah. remind me of matt damon well <laughs> Thanks. What what part? Is that not right? What part of you reminds which Matt Damon? Yeah, my, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can be I can do Boston scumbag for the rest of the no, show. No, you remind me of Matt Damon from uh, Team America. Oh, okay, that Matt Damon. All right. The one that he gets raped? No, where he just says Matt Damon. Yeah, Matt Damon. Damon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I look being from West Virginia, you have to have like fifty fucking cousins. Uh, I've got a, a pretty big family in general. Yeah, like my uh, dad has. Uh, three brothers, four sisters, and then I have uh, my mom's side, and she's got like three sisters, and she had two brothers. Mm. And so Your dad is an interesting guy, right? <laughs> Any, yeah. Do you want to talk about that at all, or we're going to skip it? <laughs> yeah. We, we, he's not the best, but we... we <laughs> no, we but oh, if, he's, if he's a terrible father, let's get into that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We should probably skip yeah, that. Why, did that. he murder somebody? No, no nothing like that. He's just not the best. No. Raper? No. No, no just, nothing illegal, really. <laughs> no, hey, hey, dude, that's where my mind goes. No, no. It's, kill uh, kill a, or rape? There's a sex demon, we'll just say that, <laughs> within my family uh, that apparently plagues all of the Francis men, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's as far as it needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot of it never gets a hold of me. I really, I really like how that worked out right there. That's a good. sex <laughs> demon that yeah. plagues the Francis family. Apparently, yeah. What is Just it? Just horny men. Just oh, men okay. far too horny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it happens. Speaking of demons, <laughs> speaking of demons, you've done a lot of uh, stuff on, this, on the sleep paralysis demon. Yeah, yeah, I've done quite I'm a, a few of those I'm a big videos. fan of that stuff. Thank you. Yeah, they're fun. I like it. Uh, they like are fun. Those. So tell, tell, tell us, the audience. Yeah, is this yeah, autobiographical is or? Uh, I just do like the little clips where it's like me asleep. Uh, and then I also play the demon and I'm like hovering over the bed and I'm like, Hey, what's up, man? And just um, talking to me as like as if I'm a scared little kid or some shit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, I did a, a, another one recently. Heather was doing one, mm -hmm. and we, uh, I got to be a part of it. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Yeah, it's fun. I, I enjoy your videos Thank very you. much. Thank You're you. fucking hilarious. Yeah. Thank you. How did you even get started in all of that? Because you again, you have a huge following. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to get there. Uh, I've been making videos since like 12 or 13 years old. Me and my friends uh, back when like Jackass was first really really popular. Me and my friends would kind of do like child versions of that kind of stuff where we'd pull sleds behind four wheelers and like you know sling ourselves into shit and just stuff like that and then we started making go like search abandoned houses yeah, yeah. yeah. literally the most impoverished worst, counties in america, in yeah, america. did you get any of that on video uh we do we've got one man i can't believe we even did it too there, it was in a old abandoned like hospital and uh, we went into the bottom floor and got into the air ducts and it's all concrete Jesus and uh, you had to go in at an angle 
and we climbed through the air ducts. There was like bones and shit. It was all like mud. It was like bones and like stuff like that, like all over the floor. And it came out inside of the furnace. We had to just like move this giant sliding door Holy and hop shit. out of the furnace. It was pretty cool. But we had a couple little videos and like pictures of that. I'll have to find them. Yeah, that's that's uh, yeah. wild. It sounds like most of the things you did as a child involved abandoned buildings. Yeah, we it's, like hiking. Like we were always camping and hiking, doing stuff like that, and then exploring. Like that was her. Like we loved that crap because it was like coal camps and stuff mm. like that around where we lived so there was always like coal uh the coke and coal companies and uh these like old schools and stuff like that were that are still standing because they were all right. concrete so yeah we did a lot of that kind of stuff like exploring buildings and uh but we'd sort of making videos and uh, i kind of just kept making them myself as we all like kind of kept growing up and everybody moved away i kept making my, myself and i uh, didn't do it much uh, for a few years in college and then started back again <coughs> I think my first viral video was like six years ago now on Facebook. That's where I like. Sure. Yeah, first really started mm. m make, making something out of it. So, yeah, I've been doing it ever since. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, so, is so that fun. your sole profession now? Yeah, yeah, just uh, making videos, doing like streaming on Twitch and stuff has gotten like uh, pretty good for me. And uh, just, <laughs> yeah, just like working with sponsors and shit. Now, I don't know if you know, I'm a Haynes model now. Mm -hmm. Are you really? Yeah, I'm a Haynes model. So Michael Jordan himself may have picked me out. He may have seen me on TikTok and said, that's the one. No for his, shit. <laughs> his, his new boxers, yeah. That's great. Yeah, it was a really good time. So so is Haynes paying you for this? Yeah, yeah. I did uh, two ads for him. Well, I did one ad for him, and they really liked it. They made a second contract for me so that they could share it on their other stuff. Mm. So... Can you pull that up by any chance? Can you pull up Caleb Francis Haynes uh, on there on it's the on screen? It's on TikTok, yeah. On, oh, it's on TikTok? It's just TikTok, yeah, yeah. Oh, so shit. They're, they're paying... Haynes is now paying people to do TikTok Dude, shit? TikTok is getting so big with sponsorships and stuff like that. That's where 90% of my like main sponsors are from right no now. No yeah. fucking way. Yeah, because it's got... Like, it's the biggest social media right now, I think. Mm. Like, how many, like, millions of users? A lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, like, all these major companies, like Nike and, like, all this stuff are coming on to, to TikTok to get people advertising their stuff. No shit. How many followers do you have on TikTok? Uh, I'm closing in on 1.5 million. Fuck. Yeah, that's my, my biggest page for sure, yeah. No way, yeah. dude. Yeah, can you pull up his, t his TikTok? <laughs> I, uh, Caleb Francis on TikTok. TikTok, yeah. Um, <clears throat> man, I, I fucking make fun of TikTok all the time. I had no Everybody idea. Everybody does, man. And but no, but I, I yeah. had no idea. Yeah, like, it's that, it's that getting so big. And it's just like, I mean, did you like Vine? Like, I did. I yeah, did like it's Vine. It's basically the same. Lot, yeah. yeah, it really is. It, it just like, happened to attract can, a lot of super young kids at first. but because yeah, it, it was is, a different app at yeah, first. Yeah, yeah it right. was like that's a dancing music and, app you, Yeah, first. you could sing or karaoke yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty much yeah. what it was. There's a lot and more sketch comedy over. over there now. Yeah, now like all, a, lot of the, a lot of your fa like favorite Viners are on there, and then there's so many new people Wait, tell me who my favorite Viners are. Well, uh, I don't know. You Marcus. Tell me. No, you tell me. No, you tell me. No, you, you tell, tell me. Because I don't have any. <laughs> I, Vin, so Vincent Marcus was my favorite. Charlie right? Classic yeah. and Vince. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Charlie, yeah. yeah, they're both on there. Yeah. Amanda so. Cerny, is she on there as well? Uh, I think so. She's pretty yeah. funny. She's being, uh, yeah, she's just always being hot. So. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she's, it's, she, it's she, does, she actually, I mean, she doesn't write any of this stuff, but she's good at doing the Yeah, she does the good stuff. The skits and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Show, pull up the Haynes campaign one. Do you know which video it is? You could probably scroll down just a little bit. Yep, there it is. I'm actually. Me and my I helped with this one. Yeah, you did. Wait, and did then, I help? Yeah, I don't remember helped, if I yeah. helped. Pop that up full screen. Holy shit, yeah. dude. Can you turn the volume on? I had to share a little clip <laughs> of my ass. Cooking some cooking ice. Some ice. <laughs> Wait, go. start it over so we can yeah, hear it. Start it over and we'll, we'll play the volume. I didn't know Jared is in this too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Jared's in everything. There you go. Over a chair in your underwear. Yep, that's the campaign. Over a chair in your underwear. Sometimes I just get so comfortable at home that I don't put pants on. I actually got rid of all my pants. I don't own a single pair of pants at all. That's Jared's uh, house, by the way. Delivery? You know what? I don't need them anymore. Just send them back. That's it. So overshare in your underwear is the, the, the name of the campaign. Yeah, yeah, that's the campaign. God, yeah. this is fucking insane, dude. I had no idea <laughs> that they pay for shit like yeah, this. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Ridiculous stuff. I had to make two razor ads recently. And, like, my whole right nipple is shaved. And uh, that was for Dollar Shave Club. And then uh, it got flagged immediately. I had to take it down. So really? Yeah, so I shaved my whole nipple for no reason. And uh, I had to redo it with my shirt on and just kind of, like, 
pretend that I, was I like how the money. nipple has been become one of the more offensive things you can see and like ridiculous. murders yeah. murders fine oh yeah, yeah there's some crazy fine. stuff on there little kids with their tits out all the time and like yeah. guns yeah. and yeah. swords yeah. anytime i've ever like i get videos taken down a lot because i use like fake swords and stuff just fucking around or they're in the background yeah immediately down no shit yeah it doesn't even load it'll like it'll be on for like an hour what's the anti-sword thing about <clears throat> i don't know if I China. Can know. yeah are they just so scared that that's going to come back and become the most powerful <laughs> Me- melee warfare is coming <laughs> yeah. back yeah. after yeah. all yeah. these years yeah. like uh, Ch- china man there yeah. it's the fucking samurai sword shit. Oh, yeah they're scared they're scared that <clears throat> that's going to pop this up was again just lord of the Rings swords i was like starting a little collection and oh. i wanted to show it off and have you had any celebrities reach out to you uh yeah dr phil follows me on tiktok fuck <laughs> off <laughs> Are you uh, serious, Ed dude? Ed Sheeran follows me on hey, TikTok. Hey, let me... Ed Sheeran? Not Ed Sheeran. Uh, sorry. Uh, what's How do you mix up Ed Sheeran with anyone else? Get ready. Some other know. ginger. You'll know. Is he a redhead? Uh, is he a redhead? Uh, he's got, like, reddish hair, and he's also a UK singer. Uh, One of the reddish One Direction hair, guys? UK singer. I don't know who the he's fuck you talking new. about. He's pretty new. Hold Me While You Wait is one of his, like, most popular songs. Find that, uh, Hot Bob. Hold Me While You Wait. Red-haired UK Lewis singer. Lewis Capaldi. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm friends with him on there. Find, uh, find a, a picture pretty, of him. Yeah. Yeah. And while we're finding a picture of him, I'm going to ask you this. Is Dr. Phil and Mr. Mackey from South Park the same person? We asked that to somebody I'm not sure. recently. Yeah. Yeah. Now also, you are also, you riding yeah. on a unicorn. Uh, yeah. uh, it looks like a fat edge. That oh, guy, wow. that well, guy looks like compare. the way I imagine British people would look. Yeah. yeah. He's fucking funny, too, man. It's so weird. He posts like super goofy <laughs> clips. <laughs> Oof, these are not good pictures. <laughs> <laughs> these are not good looking people that should procreate in this world. Lou, what's his name? Louis? Louis Capaldi. He's, dude, his songs are good and he's really fucking funny. So I was like, oh shit, that's cool that he, and we're friends on here. But Dr. Phil, though, is. Yeah, is that probably, one was really impressive. Yeah. He only follows like 40 people, too, like 44, 45 people. And I'm fucking you, you think, Is he trying to bang you? Or I don't know, but I wonder what video he saw and he's like, yeah. Fuck yeah, you should DM, you should ask him. <laughs> you should guy. DM him and ask him like, hey, what which what which was it video? that made you? Yeah, because my that, videos are fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I can't see this being Doctor Phil's kind of humor. So, mm. do you ever hit him up and be like, yeah, why? Are you <laughs> yeah, why did me? you follow me? No, I haven't yet. But uh, you I, follow- made a, I did make a. video. He's just right like, up there in Dallas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, I should go hang out with you. Yeah. <laughs> make a video. Hi, you follow me on TikTok? <laughs> what do you want? You want to go to Applebee's or what? Yeah. You want to check out the Carabas? Want to hang out? Want to hang out? Can I meet your wife? There was a there was a girl that there was a famous girl that's uh, followed um, Jesse and I, my wife and I, yeah. right? And uh, we couldn't figure out why. Like maybe she listened to the podcast or, or, or something like that. Um, and then she stopped following Jesse, and then only followed me for a little bit. Oh, did that like, create problems? I, uh, I would just say it over and over again. I was like, oh my gosh! I was like, man, it is so nice <laughs> to have this one person following me that I can't. <laughs> Over and over and over again. And then one, one night I came home and she'd stopped following me and it oh, was yeah. over. It was, uh, fuck, Sam, Simon Cowell's uh, girl, ex-girlfriend. Uh, she's now hosts like Extra and all that. Mm. Seymour is her name. Uh, Terry Seymour hmm. is her name. I wonder and what happened that made her follow you and then decide th- not th- anymore. This, this has been the, the argument between my yeah. wife and I forever. What, of like, what, did, yeah. what did both of us do? That Terry Seymour isn't following us anymore. And on what did Instagram. you do to where she was, was following, following you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So was it a movie two? you did yeah. 15 no. years ago? No, or? no, no. I didn't. I, I've never met her. I don't know her. But when it popped up, you know, and you see the blue check mark, and you're like, oh, shit, that's Terry Seymour. Put her on screen, Hot Bob. You'll, you'll know who this is. Terry Seymour. Um, and and what, what if I just completely botched her fucking name? Uh, Simon Cowell's uh, ex, ex-girlfriend who hosts Extra now. Because we, every night at like 7, 7 o'clock, there we go. Yep. Hmm. Um, there she is. So every night we watch Extra at our house. It's just on in the background because it's the only thing that's like kid friendly at like yeah. 7.30. So uh, it, it's always on and we've, we've been pissed off about it. Like we can't, hmm. hit me up. Let me know what we did, yeah. Seymour. I think I'm, it was, this. it probably had to be like a political post or something like so. that. Yeah. yeah. Where you're just like, oh. That's it. Damn it. I got to leave now. Have you ever gotten like like heated messages over shit you've done from people where it's like, man, I thought you were different? Oh, yeah. All the fucking time. Uh, especially. And you don't do I anything don't do political. I don't do anything political because like, for the it's most just, part, I don't follow really anything because I just don't give a shit. That's what I like, knew. I fell in love yeah, with you yeah. when you said, I don't vote. I'm like, yeah. that's my man right there. <laughs> I was like, I just, yeah. I just don't give a shit about any of it. And uh, 
I'll get like pressed all the time. They're like, "Hey, you should be using your platform to talk about this and this." And I'm like, "Fuck no!" I'm like, "It doesn't have anything to do." You with You use me. your talk, your platform to talk about Hanes, man. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, what I do. Did. Do you, get do you, paid about their new special little compartment that holds all your junk in like a little sack? Yeah. Why don't you boxes. Why don't you go to your fucking job? Yeah. And and start proselytizing, like, like start judging people for how they believe things politically and yeah. see how that works out for you. See right. if you still got a job, fuck face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Asshole, shut uh, the fuck up. I've made like two videos that kind of touched on stuff and it was my, like me just fucking with them. I like how I'm the one them. that's pissed off about this, but I'm the one if even if it's on a fucking unrelated sports show I'm like, you know what, this reminds me of some fucking politician <laughs> asshole. Yeah. I just want all my cake and I want to eat it yeah. as well. That's, well, you're getting paid at least. That's what's all the, the point of yeah. having cake if you can't eat it? Though? You can't yeah. eat it just too. Like it. Show me a cake and tell me I can't eat it. I'll go to war yeah. Yeah, no, to eat that no cake. Put your ass on it and fart. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah. You can get paid for that too, by yeah, the way. Apparently, yeah. quite a bit of money. Yeah. It's fart porn is a, yeah. is a thing. The more it's niche you go, they fart on yeah. birthday cakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. dip your ass in it. You get some cake yeah. uh, icing on your ass, and then fart. What's the What's the dollar amount for you to do something like that? Oof. Couple thousand. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. That's reasonable. Couple thousand for sure. Yeah. That's reasonable. All right. Yeah. So if you want to go to uh, into this YouTube here and yeah. start donating money to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, reached yeah, 2,000. Yeah. Yeah. It's we going reach 2,000, it's going to Yeah, we reach 2,000, I'll definitely put my ass on a cake and fart. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Any particular cake? Like, is, does a it have to be your cake, birthday? For sure. No, uh, just a nice, dense chocolate cake. Because I want, <laughs> I want to <laughs> see the icing, like, bubble yeah. out whenever I fart. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Fair Any enough. Any wording? Do we put happy birthday? If you can if you want. I just, uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. I mean, it's not going to matter. Yeah, you're just going to Just a regular sheet. Straight up sheet cake yeah. is probably what it is. You could just say it's a brisk. <laughs> what yeah. about German yeah. chocolate? Because I like that and I want to eat the rest. And then we can eat the rest. Yeah, I, yeah, don't, that'd I'm be not, I don't want the whole cake to go Let to waste. Let me fart it onto a plate for you. Yeah. Well, that's not really where I was going with that. If you could just keep your ass to one side or the other. Yeah, I'll just try and just enough for the hole to touch. Is, uh, <laughs> wearing, a, wearing a Nazi uniform. Yeah. And then you Wait, do that. Where'd, where'd the Nazi uniform come it's German, from? right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. German, right? Yeah, they're, they're going to have a hard time living that down. Yeah, well, you know, you can't. Kill eight million people and yeah. people get pissed off about it. Them now. Yeah. It lives with you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like China and but COVID. But Russia still isn't taking heat for killing 30. Mm. Who do they kill? Am I dumb? 28 like million that? Jews, dude. Uh, no shit. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Stalin right. killed, Soviet Russia Stalin was not killed nice way place, more Jews yeah. than fucking Hitler did. Man, I didn't yeah. know that. Not yeah. a nice place. Mm. I'm dumb. Yeah. I'm fucking dumb, dude. I don't know that much stuff about that either. No, yeah. you don't. You went no. to West Virginia, too. Yeah, Did you yeah. graduate well, from there? Uh, no, I've got like six years of college and uh, just couldn't decide what I wanted to do because I didn't want to do any of it. Mm. I kept uh, changing my majors and going for this and going for that. Uh, like I'm ready for the physical therapy program now, but I'm never going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what you went to school for? Uh, yeah, I, I started for forestry then switched to criminology. And then I was like, man, I'm not going to make shit doing this. And I switched to f- uh, physical therapy. And got all my like prereqs for that, ready for the program. I think I need like um, one math class or something, and then ready to go. But I'm probably never gonna do it. Yeah. Well, why? Why criminology? Just out of curiosity. Uh, I just thought it'd be cool. I thought it'd be fun to, because uh, I was like, man, if I could look at know, dead bodies. Yeah, look at dead bodies. Yeah, uh, he really I do. Like, I eventually get to like detective work and maybe do something like U.S. Marshal. I was like, oh, that'd be fucking killer. Just like you know, traveling and like hunting down dudes who were like you know on the run from like. Uh, that'd be fucking cool. Yeah. So, yeah. But uh, none of it really paid much uh, so, unless you were like super up there. So I was like, yeah, hey, I'll just do something in the medical field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was your fallback? Yeah. Of like, ah, I'll just do something in the medical field. <laughs> yeah. Fuck so, it. Yeah. Who cares? Cause, uh, I mean, because like the doing the like PTA and OTA and then like working up to PT and stuff like that, none of that's like crazy hard. And uh, the like programs for them are fairly short. Like I've got two sisters that do OTA, and then a brother-in-law did PTA, and then like a, a bunch of other family members that are in it. And like it wasn't hard for them at all. So I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. And they make like killer money. So I was like, okay, yeah. You know who else makes uh, killer money in West Virginia is the lawyers who represents uh, these. Coal mines. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, the the coal mines, and then the the one uh, for workers comp. Oh yeah. What the fuck is the story yeah, there? Dude, Nobody I, wants to work there. Yeah, so like yeah. these lawyers are fighting for these people in West Virginia. I watched this huge special on it's 60 Minutes. It's got to be something to do with mines. It's got to be something yeah. to do with coal mines. It's yeah. Like You're always so, getting right? fucking hurt. Yeah. And, and uh, then opioids. Like yeah. everybody's that's, on fucking opioids. Well, that's the wild <clears throat> and why. wonderful whites of West Virginia yeah. there. Oh yeah. You've yeah. seen that, right? Everybody just gets fucked up in the mines and then yeah, yeah. becomes addicted to shit and, mm. and, and, and just keeps going. No shit. Yep. That's like uh, why I think it was 
Not That's why they it. broke off from Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we want to yeah. do our meth, man. Yeah. 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 It was like number two or number three in the like country for like worst opioid addiction. So yes, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and the the workers comp thing, like nobody wants to work anymore. Yeah. So they go into these lawyers, and the lawyers are like, all right, cool, I'll get it for you from the state. Yeah. But I keep 30, 30 or thirty three percent of everything you get like mm -hmm. your benefit wise yeah. forever yeah. Oh, yeah. and uh and they all go in and fight for it and there's like two law firms if i remember correctly that really specialize in it yeah they, they've got like thousands of people Shit. workers come no, i don't there. even really know like that much into it, but that's got to be what it is something to do with like the all the mind shit. Yeah. yeah man that'd be a fun thing for you though if you didn't want to work a lot yeah I'd just be like hey, i don't want to really just go do the mines for yeah, a year for and a then year. pop out of there and just be addicted to opioids and kind of chill after yeah, that easy. get carpal tunnel from playing all those video games oh know? yeah i definitely will if i keep playing that many video games yeah yeah what's your what's your go-to on games? Gun to head, yeah. You only get to play one for the rest of your life. Gun to my head. Ugh. I mean, I'm probably going to probably choose Skyrim. Skyrim. Yeah. Huh? Gun to my I head. mean, it's complicated. It's complicated enough. Yeah. It's got that. It, it, it was yeah. other than the, like, it, it's, it's like if you open up the world on Fantasy, our Final Fantasy VII, the one that everybody really liked. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, you yeah. got those same elements that are classic. Uh, uh, game playing elements, then you open the world up like yeah. that's probably the best one. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's just a lot of exploring, uh, mm -hmm. so much stuff that's always happening that you can't control. I would that'd be fun. I did you, did you find any dead bodies out in there? Oh, yeah, you find dead <laughs> bodies in Skyrim, but they disappear the after a while. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, yeah. how many good. people do you have on Twitch? I'm trying to look it up right on now. On Twitch, I think I just hit 25,000. I'm not like huge, huge on there. But oh, shit. Grizzly Puncher is uh, my Twitch. Grizzly Puncher is yeah, your yeah. Twitch. That's always been my little gamer name, so I just kind of kept it. Uh, and who do you who do you play against? Like, do you is it just you? Uh, no, it's usually like me and my like like uh, in real life friends from like back home. Uh, we usually just play uh, Warzone for the most part when I stream. I've been trying to start streaming some other like uh, single player games and stuff like that, like and, and get more people involved and in hanging out in the chat and talking. But everybody just really likes watching us play Warzone the most. So that and I love playing Warzone. So it's always been the funnest for us. That's hilarious, Jack. I'm I'm surprised you're not a Twitch guy. Yeah. No, I don't play video games. I don't either. Yeah, um, I, I, you know, uh, when COVID hit, I, <clears throat> lo I lost a bunch of work. Like I literally had nothing to do for the first couple months of COVID. Uh, I went and bought Major League Baseball and just fucking played baseball, uh, video game baseball for like two months straight. I think the last thing was maybe like RBI baseball, or like Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, back, yeah, played. back in the day. Yeah. It, I play know? mostly sports games. Yeah, yeah, but I like sports I play, games. I like, I like shooters too, but it's. Uh, I play video games to tune the fuck out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for me, yeah. it's not something I necessarily want to do with, yeah. with an audience because most of the things I do in life are already with an audience. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Well, what they say that the only two thing that men do for themselves that doesn't revolve around pleasing a woman or, or their work or whatever, mm -hmm. two, the only two things men do for, purely for themselves is masturbate and play video games. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, Makes sense. Hey, yeah. it's like a spa day for your dick. Yeah. <laughs> It's a nice fucking spa day for your yeah. dick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. Um, are you familiar with the guys on, on Twitch who leave the, the, the camera going and they get caught jerking off? Have you seen those videos? Uh, I've heard of them. I don't know like which ones it is like in particular. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, cause there, there was a compilation that was cut together of all the, the people who play video games for yeah. the screen. And the comments just start erupting. Yeah, uh, yeah and they're like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Have you ever had a mishap where you're like, ah, no, shit. No, because I've only got, like, like my stream room is a whole different room, so I'm never going to just jack off in there. Mm. Uh, you're the second person who said that. Yeah. So that, that it's like, hey, the stream room is totally separate, yeah, so yeah. that way nothing yeah, ever fucked nothing up. Yeah, there's nothing that could, yeah, like, go wrong. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. But, I mean, it that wouldn't be the first time that you jacked off in a workspace would it no wouldn't no. It? yeah no, dude yeah. i've jacked off in my fucking car driving from fort i've Benning. done it oh yeah driving from fort man. benning up to my brother's place in greenville south yep Carolina. el paso to midland was the last time oh, yeah. i did it yeah no. sock you go sock on that uh i don't this was uh 2012 i remember i was driving uh actually i pulled an all-nighter from i started in uh orange county california uh 
and gassed up in El Paso. I was on my last leg two hours, had to stay up and di- did a nice all I the way. I would have asleep. Yeah, no, yeah. I did it. Like, I just made sure there was no truckers around because they can they get a good view. And other yeah. than that, yeah. I would look, I mean, to be honest, I don't think the truckers would have minded. No, yeah. no, they're, no. Probably, they're probably doing they're it. They're truckers. Yeah. It's boring out there. looked over and give you a thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. Or their wiener up. Just yeah. freaking. Yeah. <laughs> what are you jacking off to in the car, though? Like, do you have porn up on a phone? No, I'm an older millennial. I know how to use my imagination. Yeah, easy. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I used an, uh, an old iPod, actually. I, so, we, you know about this. We, before deployments, as soon as iPods existed, they yeah. became pornography transportation yeah. devices for military the, the personnel. Hus- the Hustler magazine was out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this, I mean, as, as soon as an iPod existed, anybody that was deploying had an iPod full of porn, right? I had, like, yeah. fucking, I had the biggest one at the time. It, it was the, the possession I had other than my vehicle that cost the most money was my iPod, right? Because I got the biggest one they could, that I could find, and I put the <laughs> most amount of porno- pornography on there, obviously. <laughs> so then when I got home, I was like, yeah. well, I don't really need this anymore, but it's a nice to have, right? Yeah. But it just and like. I can mount it on the fucking dash of my vehicle. Yeah. And, hey, here we go. Where, Where does it exist you? now? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I probably threw it away. Okay. I mean, but, I didn't. That's something you keep, though. I'll no. tell you one thing. When I find a video from like 2005 that I remembered that I used to love back, you mm. know, mm. 2005. It's like I get so excited. It to, transports you back yeah. to yeah. a time when you had ejaculations without consequence. Yeah, I just, I, I'm like, I life. remember this video. This was 2005. It's, you know, and now it's all grainy and shitty looking. But I was like, this was yeah. my favorite video. Like Heather or whatever the fuck her name is. Oh, Blowjob Heather. Yeah. 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 Um, She's, so her, her husband was an active duty Marine. During yeah, that was at career. Pendleton. Yeah, yeah, that was when I was there. Yeah. Low job Heather. What's the story of low job Heather? IDthroat.com. She was she like the was first, awesome, she was like the first amateur to, to make, yeah. to monetize just filming herself. Fuck. Really? Yeah. yeah. What's the it, name? It was of her and her husband. The website still I deep throw dot com. Oh yeah, yeah. If you pull it, pull it, up. Be able to they, find pull it yeah. up, but don't put it on YouTube. Yeah, obviously, they actually just made a, a new uh, Heather Harmon. That's her name. Yeah, they it's, actually. They, I mean, she's got to be long retired. No, they just no, made a comeback. No, she's no way. Comeback. Oh yeah. Oh sh. Well, no, don't put it on YouTube. Obviously, no. Uh, Heather Harmon. Let's see. Uh, what do we got? From? There it is. Yeah, oh, yeah. So those are the, those are the classics right yeah. there. That's like 2003 yeah, right there. That at, was such a, a. I remember these videos. Wow. We used to watch, and I would be on a navy ship, and there'd be like 30 dudes in a common room watching this at the same this time. Is that her? That's her 20 years ago. Uh, huh? But on the right or the left? Left. Okay. Uh, There's just two girls yeah. sucking this yeah. guy's dick. Right? Yeah. So she's best known for being able to swallow an entire penis regardless of its length or girth. Yeah, yeah. She's really right? good. But it was oh, always. I think it was her and her husband. And rock, rock climbing. Rock climber too, yeah. apparently. Um, 2001, look at that. No, she's yeah. rock climbing, though, in, in, what are those, Tevas? Yeah, she's got a lot of depth like. to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Can I, we fast forward through this and yeah, see her Jesus sucking Christ. dick, please? Can we, like, I don't need to see her rock climbing. God damn it, dude. That is Camp Pendleton right Here there. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Nice. There you go. Yep. Wow, that's highly incriminating, you know, to post you know, yourself doing that on the road yeah. like that. Well, I mean, it's. I think the statute of limitations is gone after 20 yeah. years. She's that, aged great. That looks, that looks like I-15 right there. She's aged really good, though. If that's her currently, go to the homepage real quick. I don't need to see this to completion, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Can we um, see the cum, man? Jesus. I'm waiting for the cum. <laughs> Bob's like back there jacking off already. <laughs> He's Come jacking on. off at work. Okay, yeah. so that's her current day. Okay. She definitely she got some bigger. She yeah. aged greats. She yeah. aged greats. Plenty of surgery. Nothing to yeah. be ashamed of, but she she got the she got her tits real quick. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was unnecessary. Big. That was unnecessary. No. Oh, she's an OnlyFans now. Mm. Well, of course. A fucking bad baby... Threw up an OnlyFans this week and already hit a million bucks. Yeah, right? so the uh, bad ba- ba- Barbie, Barbie is her name. She's 18 years old. It she, was the, the cash me outside. How about that girl? Oh, geez. Speaking yeah. of Dr. Phil, yeah. Dr. Who didn't Phil. see that coming? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's... Dr. Phil probably subscribed. Uh, <laughs> is Giorgio back there? Yeah. Uh, Giorgio, you have an OnlyFans account. We'll pay you to, to get this. What did she post? Have you seen it? I'm going to look up right now. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what. Are you able to put it on that screen? I mean, not for the people at home, obviously, because we get flagged. But I don't want to watch it. Are you, <laughs> really? I don't know. I, I don't know. She's, she's got huge tits. Yeah, like she. People have been waiting for her to turn 18 forever. There, there used to be a website that had a countdown. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Yeah. People did that for the Olsen twins back in the day. Too. I know. Yeah. It was creepy. Was what weird, a huge man. mistake. It's the younger sister weird. was the one they should have been looking at. She's way hotter. Oh, yeah. So the, I, I'll, this weird story about this, um, they pitched her to be on Drinking Bros like three years ago. 
and I, I she looks fucking really old, right? And I go, I remember the cash me outside yeah, girl. She, they were like, she's 14. And we're like, no. And I go, oh, no, 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 <laughs> no fucking way. No. And they were like, she's promoting her rap career. Yeah. And I was like, this is the dumbest shit I've ever heard month, of. Too. Holy Dude, shit. She, she, yeah, she made $1 million in one day. And then here's the other, here's the other part about it is um, she, that song that she had, that album, yeah. it's a fucking huge success. And then she won two American Music Awards. And I was, was like, it good? Yeah, they're actually good. Yes. Yeah, oh, wow. Like, okay, good bad. for her. So yeah. She has like this huge career. So she turns 18, uh, I think a week ago or two weeks ago, and then immediately joins OnlyFans. Georgia, we'll pay you to, to do this. Um, Oh, do they do they do fake accounts and shit? That's why you gotta get verified. Is she verified? Like, do they do that on Only? I know nothing about OnlyFans. I don't have an she account or anything. Blue check, for sure. Okay, so she's the only one on there. I, I th so you start to get into this issue. Like, you're huge on social media, right? Do you feel obligated when people are giving you money to do like fucking crazy shit or no? Mm, no, <laughs> not really. For real? Like, uh, if. They're just giving me money, like uh, like I do the cameo shit every now and then too, right? Like, yeah. Uh, that's about the only time that that ever comes into play, because then I'm making a specific video for them, Got for like it. somebody's birthday or yeah. some shit like that. Because nobody's ever really just like giving me money, other than like when I'm Twitch streaming. That's that's when it can become an issue, because sometimes you'll have people that come in, and they think that they can just give you a fuckload of money and then become like your real life friend. What, that, what's what's the highest total you got? Uh well one month this was this was when I was still on PlayStation I hadn't even switched over to uh, PlayStation or uh, PC yet I made like uh, right at eleven thousand dollars and that was like when I was first really starting out and uh, it's just between like a handful of dudes but some of them just try and get like too close they're like hey can I play with you hey am I gonna be able to play with you guys this week right. hey man and then they'll donate a bunch mm. and think that you'll be like and they'll be like well what about now and you're like no no and then when you don't give them what they want then they lash out at you yeah they get yeah. kind of yeah. kind of pissy and then like they don't come around much or they'll come back and and donate again and be like yo can I play now and you're like no and then they're like all right fine it's, it's, no it, can, shit. it can get weird yeah uh, the reason I ask Jesse always says this my wife she always says this shit is like a slip pretty slow because it's like all right if people are paying you to do shit online right yeah it's gonna start off small with like oh hey how about a how about a foot pick you know yeah. no big oh, deal yeah and then it's like show me those calves all right great now what are you doing let's let's see an ass shot and you're waiting then, on what to report on the OnlyFans. okay yeah let's see what do you got what do you got here uh don't waste your 28 dollars. it's a bell thorn stitch version two uh nothing more than bathing suits Ah, okay. nice. great! Yeah, nice. nice. Thank you, Giorgio. Yeah, twenty four dollars, because that was the that was the biggest gripe with Bella Thorne, where she made yeah. a fucking million dollars and then she didn't show anything. And then here's what here's what I'm talking about. She felt obligated after that because she got fucking slammed. Yeah. yeah. And then a couple days later, she posts herself yeah, fuck you, naked in the shower. You owe it to me to see you naked. That's basically what people yeah. are saying. Yes. You owe you owe me to see you naked. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. So weird. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's 18, so it's a little is old. Not... It's a little old for Matt Gates, but um, Ooh, I'm kidding. Yeah. No, we don't know. We'll we don't see. know that story yet. But uh, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> I always say we'll see. Yeah. There was some new info today. There was some new info today. Oof. Is it... uh, I, I, that's that's why the other day what was it fake news when I was just like, look, that Tucker Carlson interview seemed <clears> so <throat> fucking weird that I was like, they're all they all know each other. They're all connected in the same families. Oh, uh, here's yeah, this is a new development. Justice Department inquiry into him. So he he they were originally looking into, into him because of his connection to a guy that just got fucking arrested for a bunch of other bullshit. Correct. Now yeah. this one, the Justice Department is looking into a bunch of uh, money he's paid to a variety of different women, hey, for whatever Chase reason. Uh, all right, a Seminole. County tax official who's under investigation for sex trafficking yep. uh, at the office uh, he allegedly used to make fake IDs. Yeah, that's the guy uh, that got arrested. So, all right, let me ask already. you this, Dan. If, if homegirl was 17 years old, but she had a fake ID, what happens in that situation? Uh, I don't think anything. Hmm. I mean, if she, was, if, if she has a fake ID, that would imply that he had seen a fake ID and been lied to, and, and he's not guilty of anything, frankly. Uh, Oh, he got her. Matt, they're, they're saying Matt Gates got her the ID so he could travel with her. Eesh, that is next level trafficking shit. Yeah, that's uh, certainly he will go to prison for a, a little bit of little bit of time. A little bit of time. Yeah. Um, and again, we we don't know whether this is true or false, but we'll see. It's pure speculation. Yeah. 
Holy shit. Why don't you hey bring up the Drinking Bros merch store too? I got some, we got some new shit. Oh out. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull that up too. That we finally drinkerbros.com. Um we finally got the fucking Pornhub shirts in. Not even Ooh, close. Nice. Not even close, Bob. It's shop.drinkerbros.com. Click store. Go. Store. Boom. Pop that up on the screen. Yeah, put that oh, on shit. there. Oh shit. So the new uh, all politicians are cunts designs are out. You can see those stickers and shirts. <laughs> those are awesome. Um, we also have the new Drinker Bros Pornhub logo. We got yeah. the, the IED, the ignore everyone deployed, which is Jack's favorite shirt, I believe, on the side. Yeah. That's fucking I'm wearing hilarious. that the next live show I then do. We've got a variety of other things. Gay for straight is a big one. People oh, dude, every, everybody's wearing this gay for yeah. straight. Sure. And Chuck Liddell's wearing it all over the country right now. <laughs> which is Everywhere. Funny. Everywhere. Um, yeah, and we got some, we, a bunch of other stuff. We got some new stuff coming soon, too, in about two weeks, uh, and including coffee mugs and shit. Mm. The hilarious so. part is we could not figure out the merch store for like two years, and now we have like everything on there, which is yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm also getting hoodie samples in this weekend, and I'll we'll decide on those and then send them back. And we talked to the Whoopi hoodie guy, too, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on. What, what, what would it take for you to go to OnlyFans to kill? Uh, I, I had it for like a month. For a while, where I just posted content, a lot of people there. were doing that. Yeah, yeah no shit. I had a lot of people that were like, like it was like Patreon, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. a lot of people were like, "Yeah, you should, you should make like the OnlyFans and just post like exclusive skits there." Yeah. And I had it for like a month and a half, and I was like, mm. I was like I'm "But you can do the I'm, same thing on Patreon or Twitch." Yeah, right? yeah. and I was like, I, "I'm just not really that into this." I was like, "I, I was like, I feel like b- bad, honestly." I was like, "Cause I," yeah. and there's such a weird stigma with uh, like OnlyFans and Patreon, like they. People expect to see your like dick or butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was just like, yeah, I was like, I'm not really into this, and I just deleted it. Well, the real issue with even using that for creator content is that it's built for the upsell to be in the chat function. Yeah, right. That's that's their biggest feature is being able to talk to somebody. Right. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, like, I just talk to people in my DMs for free. I'm not going to charge somebody to have a conversation. Yeah. That seems so weird. weird to me. Yeah. So, I, I honestly, I just felt like a, a stink about it. So, I just deleted it after like the first month and a half, something like that. Yeah. Now, our producer, Giorgio, has one, but he actually shows his dick on yeah, it. Yeah. Well, so. that's, and I mean, his that's, butthole that makes too. sense. And his butthole, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty much all I was getting on there was like gay dudes that were like, when are you going to post butthole pics? When are you going to show your dick? When are you really? Gonna, Is that oh, a yeah. thing? Do gay dudes want to see pictures of other dudes' buttholes? Yeah. I, I'm, oh, yeah. Well, I, sincerely, Giorgio. Is I would, that, I'd figure they would want to see their dick but they not would, oh they want to see the butthole too especially hmm. if you're a straight dude all the requests are butthole and butt play and then it's the verbal they really want oh, okay to yeah uh, gay men are uh, uh, so, so what Giorgio just said because he's not mic'd up he said yeah. he said everybody wants to see butthole pics mm-hmm. and then the verbal <clears throat> like talking back and forth mm. or, or are you talking them through your at like seeing your asshole oh, and telling them to jack off J-O-I oh it's jerk off instructions alright alright now that makes more sense hmm. Um, you probably should charge more than $5 Was there any women month, that were into it, or was it just gay dudes? <laughs> oh, boy, that's a sheepish grin there. No. Yeah, money is money, man. No, money mm-hmm. is money. You got you to gotta earn that, uh, that $80, yeah. you know, somehow. I've, I've kissed a lot of men for, um, like, for work purposes before. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the over under? Uh, I Brand, uh, Brandon Rogers did a makeout scene with him. Oh, was, yeah. That was a real kiss. Uh, uh, and then a lot of the time, I'm not getting directly paid. It's just so once I've done it for a check, <laughs> and I've kissed men like uh, probably ten other times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just to do it. Just to do it. Yeah, yeah. I like giving kisses. Sometimes it's a really heavy. Like Brandon, that was a heavy duty kiss we yeah. exchanged. Yeah. Is it tongue? Uh, he slipped tongue, but I, I was doing acting kiss, uh, but he went for a real kiss. I think you got to go for it then. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. said Brandon did that. Are you going to yeah. sue him? <laughs> no, I did it. I did it in a video with him. Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot. It was for us. J- Jared and I made that, uh, fake stock photo, uh, yeah. stock footage video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where we're still selling stock footage. That's yeah. Fucking it's like man has heart attack in front of his child. And it was like me having a heart attack and like Jared's yeah, it's, kids like, wake up, daddy. It's like way too specific. Stuff yeah. It's like super it. specific. Like yeah. man calls a woman Uber after one night stand. Like, yeah, yeah, that's my, you know, that's my late night hobby, right? Finding stock fo- footage, St- finding stock photos late at night with whatever fucking Bro. weird keywords I can come up with. The bet. I, so my, I'll, I want to hear your best. I'll tell you my best. Yeah. A uh, woman pushes man into, oh no, man pushes woman in a wheelchair in a pool. Yes. And yeah. They, I, they've got everything on there. Every, I was yeah. shocked. I couldn't yeah. fucking believe it. I was like, <laughs> this is awesome. Dude, do you, 
<laughs> Let's get dark. Because they Go suck. Ahead. Because they're not accurate. You can tell they're actors. Yep. But my favorite are the... There's a lot of them. It's soldiers with guns to their heads. Like... <laughs> I knew it was there's going dark for you. There's a bunch of them. I love them. <laughs> yeah, put is. put uh, like. Uh, but yeah, so put up mine first, and he then asked it, this her is, to marry him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 then he pushed her into the pool. And then he pushed her into the pool. So what I'll do is I'll download the whole series and I'll create stories with them with voiceover. <laughs> so I make stories out of all the stock photos. I've done that for a few videos. Who yeah. could oh. possibly have requested this? I don't know, but this is what I found late at night. It's Life, so it's funny a, that this it's is now a, a Lifetime movie is happening. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes, Did yes. Did she say no? He already paralyzed her. Now he's dumping her in the fucking water. Yeah. Is that so? This is on screen, right? For YouTube, I, I love how that. he's in his chones there, and yeah. she's in a full ball gown. Well, dress. she's in a wedding dress. Yeah. yeah, you know, she thinks she's getting proposed to, and he's he was cleaning up, and you know. She's just by the pool. I don't know that he got her out of there. The, what was the other one? Soldiers holding guns to their heads? Yeah, just put like uh, uh, PTSD uh, soldier stock stock footage. <laughs> it's, there's, there's so many good ones. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. There's so, I, I love them. Yes. <laughs> so put, put them up and go through them one by one here. So the, the, that start, one. Start with the first the one. one. Okay, right, yeah. Yeah, the top right. Oh, God, yeah. Look at the look in this guy's eyes. Yeah, it's just so bad. It's oh, so bad. Oh, man. But th there's... Uh, he doesn't look like he served. No, these are all like models and everything like that. Oh, but that, oh, that God. one... I made a whole... So there's a bunch with that guy specifically and a woman, him and her arguing. So I did a whole story that was like a minute and a half about how he just got back from deployment. And he was so <laughs> sad that the, the only way that they were going to get through their marriage is to make a baby. So it, it was a whole thing I did, yeah. <laughs> and this... I, yeah, you can buy this on Getty Images. What kind of gun is that, Dan? It's, a, uh, it's like a 32 or a 25. Yeah, revolver. totally. You never, you'd never see that in a service member. I mean, that's not real. That's that's not real. But from the size of it, that's what it would look. Pull like. the. Oh god, the guy yeah. just staring, staring at his. Shot. I've done. I I, I got to show you the video. I, I got to show you the video I've done with this guy. Um, go to the other one. What's why is this guy blindfolded here with the blindfold up top? Like, what does that mean? That, that means just, he's letting a dude suck his dick right now, but he doesn't <laughs> want to see what he's doing. Like, yeah. Probably, right? Yeah. Why else would you blindfold yourself? Yeah, he his cum face. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks face. like a character out of a Metallica music video. Oh, look man. at the, the blocks. Oh, there's, there's one with wooden blocks. Uh, this is the same dude, but his hair's must. Yeah, look at the ones with the wooden blocks. Why, why would he be holding baby blocks? <laughs> like, <laughs> he wants to tell you that he's got PTSD, so he holds his baby's yeah. blocks This is all up. I have left Yeah, I've family. got PTSD potential to suck dick. That was a meme that I saw the other day. That's not bad. It had like a, uh, uh, like a freaking skeleton on a Harley. <laughs> Go back to the other pictures, Bob. This is fucking insane, dude. dude. So, and there's so, there, but anything, right? There's so many good soldiers. Oh, hey, if you do, do, uh, do, um, uh, paraly a paralyzed soldier stock footage. Those are even <laughs> better. Those are the best. Those are the best. The, there's a one. Yes. Oh God, I love. It. Look at that. One. Yeah. No. Below that, to the left, to the left. These are all so great. These are all so great. What <laughs> is he doing, dude? His kid, his family's on. They're just sitting on the computer, <laughs> and he's having a meltdown. It's like they're googling his symptoms. Like, does my uh, husband have PTSD? <laughs> Wow. But does the, kid, does the kid have, like, headphones on? <laughs> oh, no. Why? But there's another one. Why did he fall out of the wheelchair, dude? There's, an, there's another one, Bob, where he's, uh, the guy's now playing video games happily with his family. Yeah. Right? Oh, with his kid. Oh. There you go. What's so the, the wife doing in the background? Um, She's no, she's no, in there. No, she's back she's there. Right she's there. behind him. Blow that up. Oh, it, they got the woman version too. Yeah, the female, the wounded female. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, my favorite one is. Oh, is it, it's the same dude. Same so dude. they just swapped yeah. they out. They swap positions. out. She There's one of her though. There's one of her in the wheelchair with a broom, like sweeping in the wheelchair, and the guy's just like playing video games in the background or something like that. It's so great. Oh, she's sweeping. The, why does she have to sweep out the wheelchair? That he no, she's sweeping the floor from her wheelchair while the guy's just sitting on the couch. Oh, my gosh. What's the one with the birthday cake there? Is it, oh, is oh is she's shooting up right there? No, she's killing herself. Oh, oh, oh she's what? having a killing oh, no, herself? Killing herself. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> 
just why? reading the book. Like just reading the book in the corner. Yeah, why like, is the kid reading a book <laughs> while the mom is killing herself right in front of him? And why is she, why is she still wearing like a quasi-military uniform later? Presumably years after her yeah. service has ended. Yeah. That was a red flag. Yeah. Shit. Oh, go back to that. What's the birthday cake one, Bob? It's right, it's right there. Yep, yep, that one. Oh, it's flowers. Oh, it's flowers. Oh, it's flowers. Oh, okay. This is okay. how you treat a woman. So. Yeah, uh, with PTSD. <laughs> okay, and now scroll down. There's one that... There's uh, so many good ones. Yeah. It, oh, somebody's using an Oculus right there? What the fuck is that shit? Wow, like a virtual reality. Oh, so there's a... Bo- I'm going to use those because uh, those will be good for my uh, doing a story on those. Yeah, oh th- there's a bunch. Oh, look at her. He's get, she's sad and he's holding a teddy bear for her. And home, yeah. Homeboy next to him is saluting something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's that guy. Why is this guy saluting out the window? He's saluting birds. <laughs> <laughs> what the? And that's, that's, by the way, by the way, uh, uh, a patrol cab, it's, it doesn't have Velcro in the back. I love how this That's guy weird. just, it's like, yeah. it's like seven in the morning. He's holding his car. He sees a flock of birds go by and he just <laughs> salute. Oh, it's an eagle. Yeah. yeah. That's freedom right there, brother. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ. That's the most fucked up. Yeah. Cause I, I so I'll, I'll stay up late at night and just think of fucked up I, keywords I, yeah. to put in uh, and do it. Do a, a motorcycle accident stock footage. Let's try oh that God. I, just off the oh, top God. of my head here. Let's do motorcycle accident stock footage shots um, or stock photos. Oh, there it is. Oh, Look yeah, at this guy. Yeah. Yeah. There's no blood. And no head trauma guy. whatsoever, but no. Yeah. Uh, but he's dead on the side of the road. Yeah. Apparently. Man, if you name it, you can, you can fuck. They have I like it, that dude. clip art right there, too. That's not bad. Yeah, that Look clip that. art is good. Look at that. It's the guy's flying off the yeah. fucking motorcycle. Yeah, that looks like something that's getting turned into a fucking uh, stained glass. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, all right, Bob, let's do this. Uh, top of the head. Let's go. Uh, man uh, strangles himself stock footage stock photo yeah you gotta go stock photo yeah 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 Yeah. i knew it dude i knew it so this is like rule 30 millions this is like rule 34 rule 34 is rule 34 of the internet yeah and it states that if you can dream about it it's Porn there. that exists. Yeah. Look at how many right. people. Just scroll down. Look at how many people are fucking about Why? to hang themselves. Oh man, that's this. Some of them. Don't don't click <clears> any <throat> on the real pictures because they're people that hung themselves. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's. Uh, I, I'll tell you what, Bob. Go to uh, clown scares child at birthday party. Stock photo. Let's see if that one's on there. Oh, uh, there it is. Look at that. The third one, Bob. There you go. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's real. That is a real reaction right yeah. there. <laughs> that kid's not that good of an actor. That's definitely real. That is real as we've, shit, we've, dude. We've seen him in a couple of other plays. He's not that good. Ooh, why would you, why would you do that to your kid? Because yeah. uh, you get paid for these, I don't by know, the Why way. would you threaten your kid with, with hell? Why is, the girl, <laughs> why is this girl strangling a clown? Yeah. She's well, like fucking four years old. Yeah, she, he, clearly he's crossed the line here, yeah. right? He's done something. He Whatever. The, <laughs> yeah. he's, done, he's, he's done, done something. something. Yeah. Something has happened here. That's not a good luck. <laughs> That's definitely not a good luck. Oh. oh, my God, dude. Yeah, This. so this is what I do, like, super late at night. And, and my wife's always like, dude, what are you doing? Oh, post, what's that? What is that one? Jesus. That, that looks look, like a movie dark. poster. Yeah. Look at this kid. He's got a bunch of cut up dolls around him and shit. Do you have clown makeup on? Hey, uh, yeah, he's you, got a little bit of makeup yeah. on. It's a little, it looks R- Robert, can you do obese man crying stock photo? Ooh, that's a good one. What, what's he crying about? The food or the weight? I mean, we can make up the story. That's the yeah. beautiful part. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, the first one. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's he got in his hand? <laughs> the diabetes medicine? <laughs> 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 or is he pointing to the yeah, empty what? hand yeah, of like, hey man, I, want I, I should have. Yeah, I, wish I need that food. burger was here. <laughs> he just dropped a fucking. He's at the state fair and he just dropped one of those big turkey legs on the ground. <laughs> yeah, the one, yeah, the yeah, ones man. that cost sixteen dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this guy bacon. What's the banana on? one? What's the guy with the banana? Uh, he is that a corn dog? He's eating out of a banana. What is that? Oh, oh look at wow, the, the tits on that guy. Oh. Yeah, you can post that. It's a dude, right? Mm. Uh, it's I mean, what? he's clearly living his best life. He's not crying at all. No. That's not a man that needs to cry. Look no, at all those. He's, look, he's got sausage. He's got a fucking sausage banana. Look at the yeah. gap in, the, in those front two yeah. teeth, too. That's a Michael Strahan yeah. gap right there. Well, formerly. Yeah. Did Michael Strahan oh, get his uh, it teeth It was April Fool's. Yeah. Oh. I hate April Fool's. Yeah, why would, you, why would you freaking fix your teeth? That's, kind of, that's, your, that's your look, man. Yeah. 
Uh, look at the kid staring out the window. This is a good one. Right oh, there. This fat kid. yeah. This fat kid staring out the window. Is he Chinese? Oof, no socks, too? That's, uh, God mm. damn it, man. And is That's he holding on to a laptop? What's he holding on to there? It's like a folder, maybe? Yeah. A folder, but here's the thing. When they took the fucking socks off, like, <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> like, that's some deep shit. Yeah. Like, if you're the photographer, yeah. you're like, all right, take cool. Take your socks off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, man, this this isn't sad enough. We, yeah. we really need to, to get people to What's, feel what What do you think's in through. the folder, Jack? <laughs> Medical records. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's the, I've got I've I've got type sixty five diabetes yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! I could I could literally do this for hours. And yeah, hours look and hours. up happy abortion stock. Photo. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> All right, happy abortion stock photo. Let's see. Like they're happy that they did it. Oh, oh my god! Oh yeah! There's a gun. Yeah. No, the gun to the stomach. <laughs> the gun to the stomach. Rob the second one. <laughs> Jesus, put that up on screen right now. Right now. Oh my God. Oh, wow. There is a, a handgun directly to a, she's in her third trimester, right against oh, the stomach. Wow. Oh, that's like Che Guevara right there, man. <laughs> Why do these exist? Well, dude? he's got his finger on the trigger without the hammer back, so she's probably going to be fine, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't know for sure. Maybe it's a double act. Happy abortion. Oh, no, dude. Why would you take that stock photo? <sighs> Wait, what's the one? What's abortion the message, high resolution. It says abortion message, the far right, top right. There yeah. you go. Uh, it's just a oh, okay. Oh, it's a gotcha. party for her abortion. <laughs> okay. It's her, it's her buddies want, having a party for her I abortion. I always wanted to do a gender reveal, and it, uh, it's, it's black. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, shit. They would have said, we got an abortion. <laughs> got an abortion. <laughs> All right, so let's let's try this one, Bob. Let's let's do a uh, wrong race baby at birth stock photo. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know where you're going with this. Let's see if there's a black baby and a, and a white white people that are super disappointed. Oh, no. Um, we might have done it, dude. I, we we might have gotten to the end of this. Hold on. No, stock photo. Angry father at birth. Yeah, but that you can't, you're in, you're... This doesn't necessarily mean it's because of the race. I think that's just the only way we might be able to find Yeah, it. yeah. We, I, we might have cracked the code on what this What about one that there. one right there? Which one? Oh, wait. That's a real photo. That's not yeah, stock. That's real, oh, look at that. That one. one's dark right there. He's Which about one? to smack the shit out of his kid. <laughs> oh, oh shit, my shit, God. Shit. Angry father. I don't get to go play in my son. fucking bowling league anymore because of your bitch ass, kid. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to shake his head. Yeah. I'm surprised wrong race at birth stock photo isn't there. Right? It's relatable. Yes. I'm, that, that's had to have happened to people where it's just like, wait, what the fuck? Uh -huh. Yeah. Especially in West Virginia, mm, yeah, for probably. Christ's sakes. Yeah. Well, oh, man. What uh, about uh, spiking a baby stock <laughs> image? Oh, uh, like, a, like a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. Spiking a baby like a football <laughs> stock photo. <laughs> What do we got here? Uh, there it uh, is. No. People no, aren't. That one's too graphic. People probably. aren't on the uh, abusing child mm -hmm. no. thing, I guess. Well, you can, you can always go with the tried and true. Yeah, but throwing this is going to be tossing up in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's wholesome. Man, it's good to end on child abuse. Uh, Caleb, this is the point of the show. We get to the drinking bro of the week, which is someone who has inspired you or helped you become the person you are today. Who would you like to give the drinking bro of the week to? <clears throat> uh, hmm. Did you, you had to clear your throat? Yeah. Uh, I, I guess, uh, like, can I say Tim and Eric? Like, uh, oh, yeah. as a collective, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. love their yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think they really... Uh, Helped shape some of my humor for sure. Those guys are great, man. Yeah. Um, I am, I'm a huge fan of them. They, they do, if you don't know Tim and Eric, obviously they do a, a absurdist comedy. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Have you Everything. seen his stand up bit? Uh, no, I got to go see him live here just uh, a couple months back. Oh, wow. In uh, Where? Pittsburgh. It was awesome. I got to get up on stage with him and be a part of a skit. It was. No Unreal. shit. Unreal, yeah. It was so fucking cool, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, 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 I saw, so on YouTube, maybe right around Christmas, right before Christmas, um, it was, I think it was either, either Tim, yeah, it was Tim. Uh, is, is Tim the tall one? Uh, that's Eric. Eric, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was Tim who, uh, who did the, uh, he did one hour of stand-up like a serious comedian. Yeah. And it was the worst thing of all time. Ooh. But he combines like little pieces of other comedians' uh, acts, so like like different traits and things. Yeah. And um, he did a full, serious, one-hour show in front of a crowd, 
and it was the worst thing of all time. So when you watch it, I, dude, it's so fucking funny, man. I've seen it like two or three times. Yeah. It's the, but he does, they do shit like that all the time yeah. where it's just absurd. Yeah. And uh, I'm huge, huge fans of those guys. Oh, yeah. They used to do this charity event too every year where they did a steak dinner. Um, I went to it like four years in a row. And you go there and all they give you is an apron. And you get served the steak on a table. You have to eat it with your hands. You have to eat the vegetables with your hands. All of it. And then they put you with like different comedians and yeah. shit like that. Um, so that way yeah, you're always cool. meeting yeah. somebody new. But uh, at the end of it, the tables just have sauces and juices and shit. Everywhere. You're just, and you rub your hands on the table so you don't get napkins or yeah. anything. You can either choose to wipe it on your apron yeah. or, and then you, you eat the food off the table. That's what you do. You, I, like, what is the purpose of any of this shit? I, I don't know, but that's what they, it's yeah. all yeah, absurdist kind of humor yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's hilarious, stuff. but they treat the dinner completely seriously yeah. too. And all the money goes to charity. Have you seen that yeah, new Eric cool. Andre movie? Yes, I just watched it. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, so good. It's good. It reminded me of uh, a Bad Grandpa a little bit. Yeah, which I it was the, the same style. Yeah. I only watch Rambo First Blood over and over. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've, for six months now, I've been exclusively watching that film. Are you allowed to tell people the name of your book club? Uh, well, no. Okay. We'll, yeah, we'll I mean, I, we could say it. It's I don't know if I've decided on that yet, but right, uh, right now that's what we want. That's I'm getting want. I'm getting a lot of pressure to call it Reading Rambo, but I'm not. <laughs> that's, that's a good name. It's the best. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, funny. Also, me and Jared have a new product that we're gonna pitch to you both. Okay. Oh yeah, that's coming soon. soon. Yeah, that's coming soon. Great. Yeah, it's Great. it's uh, yeah. it's is it energy based ranch products dressing. yeah energy oh ranch, energy right? ranch dressing yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it's gonna even be better. it's gonna be really good yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna do a thing where they pitch us the product um and then we've got some additional things going on that i won't say mm -hmm. sure because they're way worse yeah okay I'm, look i'm all in i'm all yeah. in uh caleb where can everybody find you on social media uh caleb w francis on pretty much everything other than twitch and that's grizzly puncher on Twitch. Grizzly Puncher on yep, Twitch? Yep. Fantastic, man. You're a funny fucking dude. Thanks we, so much, We appreciate man. Yeah. you being here yeah, today. Yeah, fun. Yeah, thank uh, you for having Jack me. Mandeville, you can check out every <clears throat> Friday night on the Friday Night Jack Sesh on Drinking Bros. Patreon, there's a reason it is on Patreon is because it shit gets fun. Yeah, Caleb's going to be on it tonight. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Caleb's going to yeah. be on it tonight. Yeah. Uh, are you wearing a shirt? Uh, I don't, I mean, if I, I don't, if I don't have you can to, come you as, know. yeah, you okay. can come however you want. That's come a as you thing. are, yeah. as you were as well. As always. Yeah. 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 Uh, a lot of people don't wear shirts on there. Nice. Perfect. Uh, well, fake Dan. There were, there was a lot of people that were impressed with your physique. You've got a, mm. oh, that body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? They were like, oh, under sly undercover. Yeah. Fake Dan's <laughs> fucking jacked. Um, so yeah, no shirt. Nice. Do that. Nice. Uh, slide on over to Patreon and watch that because it just gets fucking out of control, dude. <laughs> yeah. And there's a call in number. So it's a call. We should tell people it's a call in show. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And Jack will answer or not answer anything you want. Yeah, it's uh, the, the producers are pumping him through. And I took your advice, Ross. Uh, I actually made a big ordeal about it on air that Ross threatened to fire me. And I, I had a meltdown. Uh, but I'm <laughs> moving through the callers a lot faster than I was before. Because my problem is I like to try to like get to know people. And I'm like, this is not good for listening if it's me just wanting to learn about where you're from one dude you talked to for like 58 minutes and I did i like, really i was like jack you gotta <laughs> well, was oh, that answer some more but calls. another thing you tend to do is try to give shit from the set away yeah so don't do that <laughs> yeah okay yeah you need this <laughs> yeah. stuff you yeah. asshole well i always just assumed that either dan or giorgio is going to follow through luckily they haven't no, so, I wouldn't, yeah. no. Yeah. you can't expect me to do anything you gave yeah. my truck away <laughs> On an episode. Yes, I did. Yeah. 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 Also, yeah. you uh, told some dude he could live in his house for a while. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I, and uh, yeah. So, I just like it when people are good callers. I want to reward them. Yeah. yeah. Well, reward yeah. them with your own shit, Jack. I don't have that much. <laughs> <laughs> All I have is my dog and Uber rides. Mm. You still have the same girlfriend? Same girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. My HSG, my hot sweet girlfriend. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. You guys getting married or not? What's the story? Yeah, we're gonna do it in Sweden. No shit. When? Yeah. Uh, whenever things open back up. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Have they met you? Have the parents met you? No, just through FaceTime. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, everything's shut down over there. Mm. She's got a Swedish passport, so she's bueno, but she wouldn't be able to come back here, probably. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, she's going to go meet my parents here in about uh, two weeks. She's going to go meet Becky. Becky oh, no Winterville. shit. Yeah. That's great. Have they seen, they've seen a picture of her, obviously. Yes. Did your dad ask, like, hey, man, are you worried that this girl's too hot for you? <laughs> uh, no, you know, the, the good news is he's been legally blind for like six years, basically ever since my brother died. Maybe that affected him. Yeah. Right? <laughs> is that true? Yeah. He, 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 his, his, his oldest son died and he went legally blind in the same year, yeah. You think he's faking it? Yes or no? Uh, 
No, because my dad loves TV way too much. Oh, to, fair yeah. So what did they don't does he like? Because what's his name? Oh Faked yeah, for years. Yes, uh, right, dude. Uh, uh, Stevie Wonder. Stevie he can Wonder. See, he can see shapes. Shapes and colors. Oh, yeah, he can see, he shapes, see shapes. Wow, and that no, that is a letdown. It yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. now, I wonder what all this was about. What was he looking at? Because well, before, I just thought he was moving. So his he head basically just has like uh, immaculate degeneration. Basically, yeah. I, 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 I'm not going to confirm or deny it, but there was there's like eight different people who have said, "Man, I fucking Stevie sees shapes and shit." Like we. But how would you know? Well, He'd you know, have to tell you for, to know that for one sure. One of the stories was from a basketball player, so he was sitting courtside at a basketball. What did do? Game. Fucking dunk or some shit? <laughs> yes, uh, it was. Uh, fuck. Who was the, who was the guy who broke the backboards? Uh, Daryl Dawkins. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, "Yo, Stevie fucking clearly looked at me after I fucking dunked and like." We were in a whole arena, yeah. you know? Like, how the fuck did he know? Didn't Daryl Dawkins do a bunch of cocaine, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he was an 80s ball player. So it's like, yeah. yeah. Maybe he saw that, maybe he didn't. There's like I, seven other people. Do, do your research on this uh, if, tonight. If you're an athlete in the 80s, I expect you were doing cocaine at work. I would hope yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. You've got yeah. it, right? I mean, everybody's yeah. on Adderall now. We pretend like cocaine's bad. Adderall right. is one molecule away from meth. Is it? Yeah. Yes. The guy who invented it even said, like, I've created a monster. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Let's have him on the show. Yeah. He's See around. He is. Yeah. is he? Yeah. Let's still alive? Can, does he still write prescriptions? No, I, I, no, he was like a scientist. I don't, he uh, wasn't a that's medical disappointing. doctor. No, we want Adderall. I don't care. Oh, about okay. That. All right. Yeah, I don't really give a shit <laughs> about that. No, I, I'm, I'm a, uh, I don't like uh, uppers like that because that's what killed my brother. Mm. Oh, was it really? That's a real no, I was a downer. Yeah, he was a downer. He was a downer guy? Yeah. Oh, he was shit. a downer guy. What was it? Uh, it was scripts. I don't, I don't know the specifics. So, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you made that story up. No, that's very real. Man. Yeah. I want to make sure I'm airing out um, bad family history in front of everybody right now. Yeah. It's and really we, appropriate. And we, what we love to do on this show is, is just end the show on a super downer yeah. uh, once in yeah. a while. So um, we'll go ahead and, and, and say goodbye to everybody. And then, Jack, I want you to look into that camera. Uh, and then just just tell a, a, a story about your brother. Uh, for D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, Ross Patterson, Caleb Francis, that's Jack Mandeville. We're the drinking bros. Jack, take it away. My brother was a metalhead. He he actually got me into music. But when he passed away, he was uh, he was older than me. He was uh, 42 years old, and his ponytail was 17. Good night, everyone. <laughs>